Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I created this makeup look for you guys and it's just basically all matte eyes with glam lashes and a really nice matte neutral pink look and if you guys want to know how I got it then go ahead and keep on watching. Alright, so the first thing first, I'm just going to go ahead and take my MAC Painterly Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Is that right? Soft Ochre? Yeah, yeah. Why did I think I said it wrong? And then I'm going to go ahead and take Distress from ColourPop and go ahead and set my base. And then take Morphe Single Eyeshadow in Flawless and I'm just going to use that as my first transition shade since we're all using, we're all using, <laughs> we're using only mattes for this look. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take Freckles from ColourPop and layer this shade on top of Flawless just to go ahead and build up the intensity. And it's basically these shadows I pretty much use on an everyday basis anyways. And then for my Modern Renaissance palette, I'm taking a little bit of raw sienna and then applying it to my crease as well and focusing it more on the outer half. And then a little bit of red ochre and I'm just going to use this shade to deepen up the look and I love this shade. It is so pretty. It's probably one of my top favorite shades from this palette and this palette is honestly my ride or die palette you should have get it if you don't because you're missing out so that's what the look looks like so far and then i took a little bit of note shade on a really small pencil brush from colourpop and then layered that on my outer v just to go ahead and deepen up the look And then I'm just taking my clean blending brush and making sure to go over all the edges and any harsh lines because nobody wants a freaking line on their eyeshadows. So we'll blend away. And then taking a flat shader brush with tempura. It's like a matte satin. I feel like it's not fully matte. Um, it's like a bone cream color shade. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that on my lids. And then taking my gel liner, I'm just going to go ahead and wing it out. And with concealer, I'm going ahead and sharpening up my wing as always. And then taking my Mario Badescu setting spray, I'm going to go ahead and set my face and then use my Lottie London Got It Covered Concealer, which is so freaking good. Like when you guys see me blend this out, it is like so flawless and matte and full coverage. Like this concealer is like I think four bucks and you need to go get it. And I don't know why, but I've been liking to spray my brush when I apply my concealer. I feel like it helps. It makes the blending process easier. I don't know. I kind of just picked it up and I really like it. And can you guys talk about this? Like, look at this concealer. Just look at it. Beautiful. I just love it. It's so stinking good. I wish they came out with more shades, but they don't. I think on Ulta, they only have like four shades. But come on, guys. Four bucks for this. Bam. Bam. And then I'm going to go ahead and set under my eyes with my e.l.f. HD powder. And this powder, I don't really love. It's okay. It tends to sit on top of my skin instead of really melt in. So I always have to like pounce it with a beauty blender. But it does brighten under my eyes and set really nice. It just doesn't like, you know, melt in like a good translucent powder would. And then to bronze, I'm taking my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Ooh, something different. Not my, but a bronzer, I know. But this bronzer is pretty good. I really like it. I stopped using it and I don't know why because now I'm backed on it. Um, it smells like chocolate. It's amazing. And once I run out, I am probably going to have to repurchase it because it's that good. I'm taking the blush from the Tarte Birthday Collection kit, that free gift you get at Sephora, and applying to the, my cheeks. And this blush, blush, um, is pretty nice. I like the shade. It's it matches my skin tone, and it went well with the look. And I'm not really a big blush person, so I don't really care for it so much. But I decided to throw it in. And the best part, guys, this highlighter, this Maybelline three dollar single eyeshadow is bomb.com. You need it in your life. It's amazing. And look at that. It's so good. Like I've been obsessed with it. I can't put it down. I think I need to go back and get another one because I'm gonna hit pan on this one so soon because I've been using it every single day. And 
And for my lower lash line, I'm just going to go ahead and smoke it out using raw sienna and a little bit of red ochre. And then go ahead and tight line and waterline my eyes using this Bare Minerals like Gel Cream Eyeliner. It's the first time I was using it and I really like it. It's super long lasting, really black and super creamy so I highly recommend it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes and then apply some falsies. And these are the Eyler number 126. These are my favorite Eyler lashes. They are pretty glam and out there, but they're so pretty when you have a simple eye or like no eyeshadow at all. I think these lashes make such a difference and they are fabulous. And then taking my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, this honestly is probably my top favorite mascara from the drugstore. It is so good, you need to try it. And then I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with my NYX lip liner in, I believe, Peekaboo Neutral. And then using the little lip paint from the Tarte Birthday gift from Sephora and I honestly really like the formula and how comfortable these Tarte lip paints are and I am dying to try out some more because I know they have a lot of shades. And then after that I just went ahead and set my whole face with some setting spray and I basically finished the whole thing. I'm not going home. look what you guys think i think it turned out really nice and my skin is super glowy like this maybelline eyeshadow highlighter is bomb do you see my nose highlight it is like blinding i think you guys should definitely pick this up it's like three bucks totally worth it it's beautiful eyeshadow and beautiful highlighter as you can see i really like these lashes these are my favorite eyeliner lashes number 126 and the lips from tarte actually are super super comfortable and i really like the color and the whole makeup look just turned out awesome so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys soon in my next video bye